up guys welcome to Rafa's garage right now I'm going over my girl got broke her car broke down and I'm gonna go see what's up with it um, it's a transmission or a clutch issue because right now it didn't want to go in the gear uh, she turned it off put it in first and it got stuck in first so hopefully the transmission is not out it's just hopefully uh, or throw out bearing or something simple so you have a call from so yeah she just called me saying that she's at a gas station somebody helped her push it with another car so let's see what kind of damage it does she's calling the tow truck right now and we're gonna get it to the house and then tomorrow I should be able to work on it and see what the hell is up with it so I'll pick it up when I get there so we're getting to the car, to the site, and my girl is right there. Let's see what the hell happened. So we're here already. Pop the hood, put the jumper on it. Jumper's dead, but it's not getting any power. So uh, I think she blew a fuse, and I think she did. She blew the fuse that I put right here. This one right here. So I'm gonna take it off. And hopefully, I'm able to crank sorry right now, at least. This car starts up real quick. Let me see if I can take it home. to take out the front bumper so up she goes okay you can come out thank you she goes It is what it is, man. And just like that, just like that, it's back home. Time to put the wheels on the Evo so we can roll it out out of here and bring in the Celica because we need to take out the motor, check out the tranny, do the timing chain cover, and change the motor mounts. So yeah, I'm going to do that right now. And tomorrow I'll bring in the car tomorrow. So time to take out the motor. I already moved out the Celica uh, Smurf, that way we could take off the Evo, so we gotta move GT4 the Evo, but what's it called, GT4 has a flat, so that's why I have the compressor on, last night I dropped Evo, that way I could push it, and we just gotta wait for the compressor to fill up so we could put air on this tire and move it out the way. Time to take out the motor. We are gonna take off the hood. C1 strip bar, take all the wiring uh, first, disconnect the battery, and then work ourselves 
Oh, did we move everything first? Even the header. The header is going to be a pain in the ass. And then the last thing we're going to do is the motor mount. So let's get started. So we already took out the intake manifold, the wire harness, the shifting cables, uh, some of the cooling lines already, or well, all of them already. Um, he's taking off um, the slave cylinder, and all we need is the secondary air pump, uh, the AC compressor, which we're gonna take out the belt right now, and then the header in the back the axles and the motor mounts and then this motor should come out so everything's out already basically the power steering pump all the wiring all that's left is the mounts so we're gonna put the cherry picker right now and get this motor out. My girl is actually picking up the last parts from Toyota and the coolant. That way, hopefully we're able to um, put the motor back in tomorrow, maybe tonight, see how late we work. So motor's already out. I am gonna clean the engine bay a little bit. Same thing with this. Uh, I gotta open up the transmission, see what the hell is going on with the transmission. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take off the valve cover and replace an oil pump also cause the oil pumps go out. So I'm taking out the, the valve cover, putting new seals, new seals on the gaskets, new timing chain um, tensioner. Um, same thing for the seals for the water pump they're new and the crank seal also um, one of the motor mounts was bad which was this one right here but if I'm already here I'm gonna replace all four of them I already got them um, so all the seals are from Toyota the motor mounts are from AutoZone and the oil pump is also from Toyota with an upgraded gear so that's what I'm gonna do um, right now. Open up the transmission and see what the hell went wrong. Okay, we're gonna replace the thermostat first since it's the easiest thing to do. Uh, here's the part number. This is OEM. And I'll put it down in my description that way you guys can know. Also the gasket, I need to find it. But I'm gonna take it off first and then I'll show you guys the gasket. So good thing we replaced it. Look at these guys, put silicone on it. And so I gotta remove all that silicone and they had green coolant. So luckily I already bought Toyota Red. I just have to mix it cause this is full 100%. Um, so I gotta mix it with 50-50. And yeah, I'm gonna drain all that right now and clean it up put another one and i don't have the part number because they just gave it to me like this so i'll look it up I'll put it in my description either way So there's my problem 
You see these? These go under those, inside of those, and look. It's just fucked. Tell me how? I don't know. So, gotta get a new clutch, and then slap it on, do all the little minions I gotta do, and call it a day. It's probably gonna take me like half a day. So I already put it on the engine stand. My girl's cleaning it up. So she's gonna clean up the engine. Most likely the uh, engine bay also along with the compressor. So I'm gonna take off the header right now. I'm gonna take off all the pulleys, do the timing chain, take out the valve cover and put new seals on it. So let's get to it. So there it is, valve covers out, header, valve cover, timing chain cover. Uh, on this one they put silicone right here on the water pump. I don't know why. So same thing with the thermostat. So let's see, let's take it out, see how fucked up it is. Not that bad. But you could hear it. Either way, we're gonna replace it. We got a new one. Yours wasn't that bad. Right here is where it's getting stiffed already. Like, it broke off. That's probably where it was leaking. All this right here is starting to get hard already. Same here in the bottom. So yeah, we're gonna replace it. Replace this one too. Once I take it off. And clean this up, or at least from the outside. That way we get no more leaks. So we're gonna go out the extra step and actually change out the oil pump because the oil pumps are notorious to go out on this and we do have to take out the timing chain once we put it back on it has three markings one right here that orange marking another one right here and those markings go in the um, my girl is taking out the death boats uh, I don't know if you want to replace them where are you here yeah, <clears throat> So we are going to replace these, she wants to replace them. But back to the timing chain, you got two markings, two orange ones. These are going to go over here in the cams. And then there's a marking also on the gears. And then the marking, this yellow one, is going to go down here. Um, there's going to be a marking down here. That's where this one goes. It's going to go down there. So we're going to take off that right now and put the new pump and then put everything back together all the seals and new thermostat i think that's it new motor mounts we still haven't got to that but we are putting new motor mounts and <clears throat> new clutch we still got to get the clutch because this one obviously fucked up so we need a new clutch so this thing is gonna be running pretty solid. Solid. Um, this car does have high compression. It's at 210, and look at it. it. Looks so clean. No gunk. That's a good thing. So. So this marking is already at 12 degrees along with this yellow one. See that point right there? So it's already there. 
same thing with these this is the marking that's supposed to be on top and the other marking up in top and that's it I put zip tights because right now it doesn't have the tensioner and put another one over here and now I just need to clean up everything and put everything back together I'm gonna do the motor mounts right now Everything's but actually clean. Now we gotta put everything back together. The thermostat, the timing chain cover. My girl kind of finished cleaning uh, the engine bay a little bit. Uh, it was way better than it was before. So we're gonna put on the motor mounts. The motor mounts are already out. So we gotta put the new ones. And I think I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna start putting everything back together and then do the motor mounts later because she's there still cleaning up a little bit <laughs> So we're done for the day. You put the valve cover, the timing chain cover, all the seals, the water pump, the motor mount bracket. We're waiting on the header gasket for um, Toyota. It should come here tomorrow morning at nine. And I might go to the drinker tomorrow to pick up some little things that got broken here. <laughs> so these broke the little clips. So I might get that and then the oil cap broke that was my fault actually um, the chain actually got got it <clears throat> and it broke off so I need a new one and I think that's about it we put a new thermostat and gasket also and motor mounts are out engine bay is kind of somewhat clean and that's it